Yay, I'm not the only one that made a mistake this week. <laughs> no worries. There will be more to come, I'm certain, because it's a little bit different running on a Sunday afternoon rather than starting things off on a Saturday. Moving things back with weather, we're going to be rolling tonight on a Sunday afternoon. After our graphics, Worthington Bombers ready to make way out of turn number four. As we come into turn three and four, Beerman tops in your front row. Green flag in the hand of our chief starter, Matt Stubbe, up and out. And we're racing on a Sunday night. And the start from Beerman is a good one. As you'll have the race lead, Thompson trying to keep the wheels underneath of him in that one and 65 machine. It'll be the Uncle Scott Jones right behind him, followed by Harnick. And the 17J of Johnson as we work off a turn four. Beerman leads lap one. Lap one in the books, it is Beerman, Thompson, Jones. Now to the outside goes Johnson around Harnick for that not last position. The 17J goes up to the fourth position here in this heat race. Now going to chase down the 16 of Scott Jones as it goes to turn number three. Off of turn number four, though, the rear race leader still be in the 16B of Zach Beerman. Beerman has a race lead. He's got a few feature wins already. After having a steering shaft break on him the last time we visited the Worthington Speedway out in front, though, looking strong in that 16B machine, Thompson Jones, as here comes Harnick now to the inside of 17J of Johnson. He'll slide up the hill, Harnick now on the bottom side. He'll have the position as Beerman, a full straightaway ahead on the 165 of Thompson. Slide jump performed by Harnick and crossing over to the inside goes the 17 J of Johnson. Green high in the air, two laps to go. That battle for the fifth position, fourth position, still raging hot, but green high in the air, two laps to go for the 16 B of Beerman, your race leader. As it come off turn number three now, it will be Beerman into turn number four. He'll see the white flag, one to go now. As we come in, it turns one and two. Still Beerman, Thompson, Jones, Harnick, and Johnson. And it turns three and four. The final time here in this heat race, Zachary Beerman will take the checkered flag. Thompson will finish in that second spot, followed by the 16 of Jones. Harnick and Johnson will be your finishing order. I'd like to welcome everybody tuning in for a little live look in here tonight from Advantage Racing TV, IMCA TV, wherever you're looking at on the Facebooks for the time being. Welcome in. And if you like what you see here, you can head on over to www.advantageracing.tv for the live subscription here for tonight's racing action at the Worthington Speedway. As it comes through turns three and four, we're going to see the green flag come out once again here, Scotty, for your Worthington Bombers, brought to you by After Hour Graphics. And a turn four and off a turn four. Green flag will wave. As it'll be the 727 of Hoogland. Out to the early race lead, but Kent Miller coming from the back from that fourth starling spot now to the back bumper of Hoogland. Through turns three and four, Hoogland a little bit loose now. As a lot smoother as the 23 of Miller looking for the race lead. Too close to call at the line. As Kent Miller whips that thing and turns one and two, and he's got the race lead. Todd Coppin now the back bumper of the 727 of Chris Hoogland as they work through turns three and four. It is still Miller. Hoogland. Coppin now looking to the inside. He will have a mini slider. On the 727, Hoogland trying to keep the wheels underneath of him and Whitcomb in the back of the pack. As they come off a of turn number four, this time by still Kent Miller, your race leader. Kent Miller with your race leader looking smooth. Yep, that's just it. He's just smooth going through turns one and two, coming down the back straightaway with a nice race lead over Todd Coppin in the 66. And the 727 of Chris Hoogland running up your third position. Green's going to go high in the air. Two laps to go for your four pack in this second and final heat race in your Worthington Bombers. 
As it is a 23 car of Miller as Whitcomb goes around and turns three and four. He'll keep the car going. White flag set to fly. It's up and out for Kent Miller. As Whitcomb will run the bottom side and leave the top side to your race leader. Coppin in second, followed by Hoogland and Whitcomb. As we come into turns three and four. Checkered flag set to fly. It'll be up and out for the number 23 of Kent Miller. Coppin in second place. Hoogland and Whitcomb will round out your running order. As Whitcomb comes around to collect the checkered flag here in your second heat race, second and final heat race in your After Hour Graphics, Worthington Bombers, they're going to make their way off the racing surface. So scheduled to be on the pole is the 45D of Dylan Rex into the outside, Alyssa Palsrock on the front row. Colby Fett scheduled to be inside row number two to the outside, the 5B of Tim Burgesson and Danny, Danny Marvold rounding out this five-car heat race. And Marvold not making the call. So four pack of cars. And with him being late to the party, Dylan Ricks is going to have to go to the tail of this heat race. And as they come through turns three and four, head flagman Matt Stubbe is going to give them a sign. The green is out. We're underway. As Colby Fett picking up a win and some extra spending money Friday night at Hancock County Speedway. Ryan, well, it looks like we've seen this before. Second verse, same as the first. Pals Rock, your race leader. Colby Fett in that second place spot. Dylan Ricks followed by Tim Ferguson. That XA of Alyssa Palsrock has been extremely fast as of late. Greatly improved is the uh, lady behind the wheel as she now leads the double lot fetch shot of Colby Fetz. As they come down the front straightaway this time by another lap in the books, Alyssa Palsrock still your race leader in turn number one. A Colby Fett trying to chase her down as he tries to drive it off of turn number two. Has to settle back a little bit as sliding up the racetrack goes Dylan Ricks of the 45 into turn three and four they go. Single file around the racetrack, but here comes Fett to the inside. Fett waiting patiently to make a move now as he'll hit the dry stuff in turns one and two. Lose a little momentum. Pals Rock away in the moisture up top. She'll still have the race lead as we come into turn three and four. Pals Rock followed by Fett. Old car was a little bit tight that time on entrance for the XA machine. As Fett now moves upstairs, we'll try the diamond pattern. This racetrack, though, Ryan, is extremely hot today. It's starting to dry out as Dylan Ricks almost into the backstretch wall off of turn number two. And Pals Rock, still your race leader, starting to gap the double O of Colby Fett. Now we see a battle for the third place position shaping up between Ferguson. And Dylan Ricks, Dylan's trying to hold him off as he slides up to the back strip wall, trying to set that line around. But here comes Bergson trying to find his way around. Green is going to go high in the air, though. Two laps to go. What do they got for him, Scotty? Two laps to go for Pals Rock as Fett tries a diamond pattern again. Just cannot get the run off of two because the moisture is gone on the bottom side of the racetrack. Up top, Pals Rock will see the white this time by. That XA machine still gapping the double zero machine of Colby Fett. You see Colby trying to diamond again. And this racetrack, Ryan, as Burgesson gets around, Rick's just a little bit dry on the bottom. As Pals Rock will come to the checkered flag this time by Alyssa Pals Rock, your heat race winner. Colby Fett at that second place spot. Tim Burgesson will come home in third and Dylan Ricks in fourth. Give it up for a race fans. The XA of Alyssa Palsrock able to hold off the double lot of Colby Fett for that heat race win. Coming in second was Colby Fett. Third goes the 5B of Bergerson. Brody enter into the outside, the 3W of Randy Winter. Braden Ollers, the 20 car starting shotgun on the field. Now, is that Brody or Brody? He's got two Ds. That is a good question. B R O D D Y. If anyone in the grandstands knows how to pronounce that name, if you'd come up and tell us, that would be wonderful. It would be greatly appreciated. But in the meantime, head flag man Stubbe is going to give him the sign this time by. Green is up, green is out. We are underway in heat race number two. Mass 21 going to lead 22, and the 20 car trying to heat chase so they can go 20, 21, 22. Imagine that as we work through turns three and four. 
Well, we've got every number in here except the three car. We've got 20 through 23. Randy Winter, you need to change a number to 24 as Ollers works to the inside now of Jenkins through turns one and two. 21 at Connor Vanderweer, your race leader, as they work their way in a one. Battle of the year shaping up as they go for second spot. 20-22 battle going on down the back straightaway with Ollers looking to the inside of Jenkins coming into turn number three. Ollers has to slip back, falling a little bit to the wayside to the 22 of Jenkins coming through off the four. And Jenkins going to hold off Ollers down the front stretch. As they work now through turns one and two and off a of two. Half a straightaway advantage for the 21 car of Connor Vanderweer. The 22 of Jenkins still ahead of the 20 of Ollers. Randy Winter right there in a the 3W machine. Through turns one and two is a Vanderweer. G-O-N-E gone for the driver of the 21 car. Ollers still working on the back bumper of the 22 at Jenkins as they work off a of turn number four this time by. As they roll into turn number one, Connor Vanderweer opting for the mail in heat race win as they go on a battle for second, still raging on between the 20 of Braden Ollers and the 22 of James Jenkins. Into turn three they go, and here comes Randy Winter throwing his hat into the mix. Green's going to go high in the air, two laps to go. As a battle still raging on for that second spot, between 20 22. Yes, the year, battle of the year going down the back straight side by side. Ollers for the inside, going to look into turn number three. Look to the low side of Jenkins. What's he got going for him? Jenkins going to have the momentum running down on the front stretch. They go. Ollers going to have the position as a white flag wave. So 21 uh, is about to uh, be put in hindsight here in the 21 car as he'll take the checkered flag this time. And like you said, battle of the year right here off of turn number four. It'll be 2022. Ollers will finish second. Jenkins in that third place spot. Winter and the 23 of Brody Enter. Give it up, race fans. He's about to make his way off the racetrack. Look, and had no challenge in that one. The 21 of Connor Vanderweerd. So a uh, non-working race receiver, race receiver dead on the number 23. So they will try to help him out best they can. Right there for the mole machine of Kent Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going green off of turn number four. We're ready to go. Feature racing action in your after-hour graphics. Worthington Bombers. Thompson on the front row with Scott Jones to his outside. Beerman, Johnson, Hoogland, and Miller. Whitcomb, Coppin, and Hardick. Your field off of turn number four. We're going to be going green flag racing. As we come in, it turns four on the orange tire. Green is out. We're underway. And Kent Miller using the high side of his advantage in the 23 machine. He will move out to the race lead as Robert Thompson, Zachary Beerman, and put him 4 one now in turns three and four. As Harnick goes almost around the beat and bang, and we're going to keep him lean, mean, and green. And it's the mullet machine out in front. Trouble going on in the back of the pack as Johnson, as Jones was saying to Harnick, you need to go this way. And Wincombe says, don't listen to him. You go straight on that way as they get them all crossed up. And we're going battle for second. Raging on as Beerman gets the win. Thompson for second. Coppin holding off for the fourth place spot. Your running order is Kent Miller, Beerman, Coppin now as Thompson runs way up on the high side through turns one and two, falls back to the fourth spot. Scott Jones with a flat left front tire on the 16 machine. He pulls into the infield. His night is done. As it is still Kent Miller, your race leader, followed by Beerman trying to run him down. Coppin followed by Thompson. A little bit of smoke coming off the 77 of Whitcomb as Hoogland. And Whitcomb do battle now in turns one and two. Followed by Johnson and Harnick at the back of the pack. So a pair, of, a pair of battles going on in the back stretch between the last pack of cars, the back half of the field battling it out two by two by two. Meanwhile, a battle for the race lead is shaping up. It's not quite there yet as Beerman's trying to chase down Miller in the 23. As it works through turns now, three and four. It is the 23 machine of Kent Miller, your race leader. Miller followed by Beerman as he worked their way into turns one and two. Oh, car almost around on the backstretch is Whitcomb. He'll keep a handle on it. 
And now right into the infield tractor tire, right in front of the race leaders. Whoa, hang on, look out, caution flag flies. Whitcomb every which way, but straight going down the back straightaway into turns three and four. Ended up nosing himself into the infield tractor tire, but it was able to keep himself woed up from getting out in front of your race leaders as they came around through turns three and four. And the caution flies for that. And we had a little bit of debris on the back stretch as well. Race officials able to pick that up. The leader gets to sit all on his own and block in both rows. And second place gets to choose high or low. And third gets the leftover on that one. Everyone else has to follow, follow in suit in the normal running orders. As they come through turns three and four, though, this time, Scotty, we're going to see green flag in the air once again. As green flag comes out, Kent Miller, your race leader. Zachary Beerman right behind him in the 16B machine. And he'll look to the inside as Kent Miller a little loose through turns one and two. And the 16B now your race leader. Miller trying to hustle back to catch the 16B. Cop and sits in third. Thompson all over his back bumper. As we come now, front stretch in a one. Through one and two. Beerman now your race leader. Leaving Kent Miller to be in the second place spot, trying to chase him down. Cop and loose off of turn number two. He's going to pull in the infield. He's got he's got problems for the 6-6 six of six Coppin, calling no joy. He's now done for the feature as Thompson runs in third position. Now give Hardick the fourth place position as they complete another lap. As they come off a of turn at number two, that 23 machine. As Thompson gets into the back stretch while Hoogland almost does the same. Miller trying to run him down, five to go this time by now for the driver of the 16B, Zachary Beerman. Zachary Beerman, your race leader with Kent Miller in the mullet machine, trying to chase him down in second. Long distance back to the 165 of Robert Thompson, then it's Harnick, Hoogland, Johnson, and I gotta give something for Park for Whitcomb out here. It's not easy driving a car that can land a helicopter on both the front and back of the car. No, 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 it's not, and he's holding his own out there. As uh, Beerman will come into turns three and four. Whitcomb, a little bit of smoke out the back of that 77 machine. As they come into turns one and two. Oh, is this going to make a difference here as Whitcomb will go a lap down to Beerman. Kent Miller now trying to uh, not get caught behind the 77 machine, but he will as they come into turns three and four. More smoke out of the 77 as here comes Kent Miller and he'll get into Whitcomb with two to go. Two laps to go, Beerman, your race leader now has a sizable advantage down the back straightaway over Kent Miller who got held up behind the 77 Whitcomb putting him a lap down. Thompson still in third, but off of turn number four. Green flag goes away, white flag is out now for the 16B of Zach Beerman. As we've got racers going up and down the interstate, White flag out for the 16B down a backstretch for the final time is going to be Beerman. And it turns three and four. Zachary Beerman will take home the twin checkered flags. Kent Miller in second. Robert Thompson in that third place spot. And fourth is up for grabs. It'll be Hoogland over Harnick, your top five. Climbing out of the car, getting the uh, congratulations from the crew, guys. Zach, welcome back to Victory Lane. Finally nice to see it again. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit running uh, behind Kent Miller out there, but you were able to top him this time. He's def I give him all the credit because most of the season he's been very, very hard to pass. So lucky enough I was able to get by him because he screwed up here in corner one. and I, I felt like he was on my ass the whole time, but... Well, he wasn't letting you off easy, we'll just say that. I, I figured he wasn't either. Who do you got to thank for putting in victory lane tonight? All my sponsors, Hokanus Farms, Brian Aaron's Trucking, Big Ores Bar, Arlen Aaron's Trucking, Reistoffer Farms, LeBrun Repair, Reaper Racing Engines, and Ingle Kiss Construction. Well, congratulations once again. Welcome back to Rick T. Lane. Hopefully you see you more this season. Zachary Behrman in the 16B, your After Hour Graphics Worthington Bomber feature winner. No worries because after turn number four this time, ladies and gentlemen, up and on your feet, give them a wave and a shout because they're going to let it all out. 
your Shoot IMCA Northern Sport Mods on Parade. We go green next time by Sport Mod Mania here at the Worded and Speedway. And things are about to get radioactive in a turns three and four winter. And Pals Rock, your front row. Green flag set to fly itself, and out oh, we're underway. Randy Winter is your race leader. Pals Rock dives back underneath of him. And Alyssa Pals Rock with a power move up to the top spot. Four wide down the back stretch in a turn three. Make that three wide. Dylan Ricks getting in to the 23 of Enter as they come off a of turn number two. Pals Rock, your race leader. Here comes Colby Fett and Randy. Winter over to the back stretch. Connor Vanderweer now to his inside. Oh, Lisa Pals Rock off to your race lead early on in this one. Now Colby Fett pulls out to the second spot, but anyone gets for the third spot. Inside goes the 45D of Dylan Riggs as it was a cluster going through one and two. Now Allers going to run to the inside of the 45D of Riggs. Down the back straightaway, side by side for fifth. That is a side by side battle for that fifth place spot of Riggs up on the top side looking for the moisture now the inside of Randy Winter. Three deep off turn number four. Dylan Riggs will punch a hole through the middle slide and Dale will have the three W as Allers now working to the inside of the 45D. Wow, what a battle for fourth. What a battle for fourth as Ricks is running the high side. Allers looking down low, cap fishing around the zone with the higher. And Ricks holds him off that time by, but Allers is not going to let him go just that easily. Now they're going to tuck tail. Allers looking at the inside once again as Ricks slips up high into turn number three. Give the position to the 20 of Allers. As Allers, a little bit of a crow horn from Ricks to the 20 car. Allers up in that fourth place spot. Now Ricks back to fifth. As Pals Rock still your race leader off the turn number two and now in a turn three. Battle shaping up for the race leader right here, right now, Ryan. Here comes a double out pet shot. Colby Fett on the move. Alyssa Pals Rock don't look now, but here comes a knock in the Colby Fett. It's a double zero looking for the race lead on the back straightaway to turn number three. Tuck's tail, but now looks to the low side. Hasn't quite shown the nose yet, but now he does down the back straightaway. We're side by side for the lead on the front stretch. Pals Rock using the high side, trying to stay in front of the double zero machine of Colby Fett. Picked up a win Friday night. And Brett Isle of the Hancock County Speedway would like another win here tonight in Worthington. Pals Rock keeping him at bay currently as we're halfway down, halfway to go. This looks like the battle we had last year, Ryan. Pals Rock out in front. Colby Fett battling for the race lead. Side by side on the two. Into turn three they go. Colby Fett shoves the door open. Alyssa Pals Rock not able to slam it on him. He gives the position of Fett as Pals Rock's going to shut the door back open. Round the outside. We go for the lead. As Pals Rock, the car gets tied in her in one and two. She slides up Fett now to the race lead in the double zero machine. Pals Rock back to second. Here comes the 21 of Connor Vanderweerd up to third. All by his lonesome and fourth is Brandon Allers. Dylan Richard top five. Ferguson and a winter now doing battle now in turns three and four. As we've got five to go here in this A main event. We're just shooting out about the IMC Sport Mods. IMC Sport Mods five laps to go. Now going to be four laps to go this time by as a double lot bet. Got Colby Fett leads another lap. Alyssa Pals Rock a second. Connor Vader we're trying to find his way up to try and battle for that second place spot. Then it's Allers at fourth. Fifth to go to Dylan Ricks for that battle for the between Ferguson and Winter is still raging hard for that sixth place position. As now James Jenkins going to look to the inside, slide by the 23 for that position. As it work off turn number two, the double zero machine of Colby Fett checked out. As we'll see, two to go this time by for Colby. And the turns one and two goes your race leader. Vanderweer closing in on Pals Rock. The XA machine tightens up and turns one and two back on the gas. Here comes Vanderweer though to her inside as a white flag flies one to go. The big bed sheet is out. One lap to go for the double zero of Colby Fett. Now goes the second, goes the 21 of Connor Vanderweer. But not going to let up easily is Alyssa Pals Rock as she gives a tap to the back of Connor. Not happy that she lost second spot, but it's going to hold on for third for the time being. Off a turn number four this time. The double lot fetch shot. Colby Fett takes a double checkers. Second goes to Connor Vanderweer, the 21. 
Then it's Alyssa Paulstra. Great knowledge of drowning out the top five. It's a 45D of Dylan Ricks. Last minute battle between Randy Winter and James Jenkins. Winter able to battle that one out and take over that as a round goes. Enter as he entered turn number one after the checkers. But give it up, race fans, as he makes his way onto victory lane once again. That is the double lot Fett shot, Colby Fett. Well, Colby, uh, you and I just talked uh, Friday night, actually, uh, twice. And, uh, well, here you are back in Victor Lane. Alyssa Palsrock did not make that easy for you to uh, finally get out and get the race lead. No, she's been really quick, you know, tonight. I mean, she beat us pretty good in the heat. So I mean, we came out and tried something, and it would be good for Boone, but not here. So, uh, you know, uh, tried it, went back to what we know, and it worked. So, so but she's a, she's a really good driver, so. Yeah, she has definitely improved a lot over the years. And, well, coming home with the win tonight, you come home with the win Friday night, you got momentum on your side, and we're on the back half of the season. Uh, what is your expectations or goal for the rest of the season? Well, I think we're hitting on all cylinders pretty good right now. I mean, we've been kind of struggling a little bit this year. And, you know, the guys here, they keep working hard on the track, and drivers like seeing that. And, I mean, the crowd likes seeing it, and everybody likes seeing the track them work it in and you know they just want to put a good show on so but I like to thank my crew uh, Farmer and Justin for always being here with me and um, Chuck Clocky, uh, uh, Lake Mills Motorsports, Mike Howen and um, you know I got Noonan mud plugs uh, it's, I got a pretty good crowd behind me oh and Cooter built you know he put a new engine in after we blew one up on Friday, Monday so well, Colby Fett, you visit Victory Lane and Worthington Speedway once again. Let them hear your race fans. Colby Fett, the double zero machine, your victor once again here at the Worthington Speedway.